How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink here, and in this video I'm going to tell you how I printed this tiny Benchy using a 0.2mm nozzle. This isn't really a best practices video, but instead I just want to talk a little bit about my experience when printing with such a fine nozzle. I purchased this $11 nozzle replacement set on Amazon that included nozzles from 0.2 all the way up to 0.8mm. It also included the tools required to replace the nozzles on my printer. You can see here the difference in nozzle width from 0.8 down to 0.2. In a recent video, I used the 0.8mm nozzle to print out a Benchy using some pretty large layers. The result was a model that printed very quickly that also had a very coarse texture to it. For this video, I wanted to go in the other direction and experiment with printing using the 0.2mm nozzle. Instead of using the ANET ET5X, which has a build volume of 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters, I'm instead using the ANET ET4X. This printer has a build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters, so a small tighter frame should lead to a more accurate detailed print. I was really impressed with the level of detail I was able to achieve, and in this video I'm going to walk you through some of the settings I used to get there. Just like in my previous video, I'm using Prusa Slicer to do all of the slicing for this printer. In addition to changing the nozzle diameter value in Prusa Slicer, I created this custom 0.08mm profile that uses a 0.12mm first layer. Using this profile, I sliced the Benchy at 18% scale and then went through the toolpath looking for any issues. The Benchy looked good and some of the smaller features, like the text on the bottom, didn't look like they were going to render, but the overall form of the Benchy seemed to look okay. Once I was satisfied with the toolpath, I exported the G-code and sent it to the printer. One of the first things I noticed was even at this small scale using the small nozzle, this Benchy only takes about 10 minutes to print out. During the printing process, the extruder gear looks like it's barely moving because it's only pushing a tiny amount of filament out of the extruder at any given time. This stands in direct contrast with the 0.8mm nozzle, where the extruder gear looks like it's spinning almost continuously. The level of detail I was able to capture was pretty impressive, especially considering how thin the layers were on some of the overhangs on the Benji. Overall, I was really impressed with the level of detail I was able to capture, and you can get a better sense of scale for the size of the Benji when you see it next to a penny. Removing a part of this size from the build plate is pretty tricky. It comes right off, but you don't want to lose it. One of the biggest challenges I had when I was photographing the Benchy was trying not to blow it away, just by breathing near it. If you look carefully up close, you can see some of the fine details like the holes in the hull of the Benchy are actually visible and resolved pretty well at this resolution. But some of the very small holes, like on the very top smokestack, didn't resolve and closed up during printing. You can also see on the bottom of the model, the Benchy printed completely flat with no text visible. For a better sense of scale, you can see the 18% Benchy sitting on top of a standard Benchy in this picture, with the large, full build volume Benchy in the background. Overall, considering the cost, I think it's definitely worth it to buy a nozzle kit and experiment with printing with different sized nozzles to get different properties out of your prints. As always, thanks for watching, and have fun printing!